Alan Meehan, ex Comanchero national president, has managed to avoid incarceration after admitting to violating the conditions of his serious crime prevention order. The 36-year-old was fined $5,000 and placed on a two-year community correction order by the Downing Center local court in Sydney. Despite police's claims that Meehan had blatantly breached the serious crime prevention order by moving to Queensland without informing the authorities, the magistrate dismissed their arguments. Meehan had initially intended to contest four charges of breaching the order. However, his lawyer, successfully cracked a deal on his behalf, resulting in Meehan pleading guilty to a combined charge while the remaining three charges were dropped by the police. Police allege that Meehan breached the order shortly after it was implemented by moving his family to the Gold Coast at the end of the previous year without informing the authorities of his change of address. He was arrested in February, extradited to Sydney, and held in custody for two months before being granted bail by the Supreme Court in April. During the court hearing, Meehan's defense barrister, described the breach as a result of his client's mistaken belief that he did not have to comply with the order when outside the state. His barrister emphasized that Meehan had been fully compliant with the SCPO since his release on bail, and argued that the court should not return him to custody, characterizing his actions as an aberration based on a mistaken belief in his rights. Prosecutors sought Meehan's imprisonment, contending that his conduct was a deliberate attempt to conceal his whereabouts from the police and demonstrated a blatant disregard for the Supreme Court's decision. However, Magistrate Greg Moore rejected this argument, determining that the threshold for imposing a jail sentence had not been met. Meehan remained polite and respectful throughout the proceedings. As always, Meehan was dressed to impress at the courts. His choice of Versace attire garnered considerable attention from the press, who focused on every aspect of his outfit, including his clothing, shoes, bag, and sunglasses. The media's portrayal accentuated these luxurious details, often emphasizing the price tags associated with the fashionable pieces. Through widely circulated photographs, Mian's self-assured demeanor was captured, highlighting his confidence as he proudly showcased renowned fashion brands. While Mian appeared pleased and satisfied with this outcome at the Sydney's Downing Centre local court, it was not so good news for his good friend Tarek Zahed at the New South Wales Supreme Court. In a blow to his hopes for freedom, Zahed has been denied bail for the fifth time in less than a year. The Supreme Court heard his latest bail application on Monday 10th of July, where he faced the allegation of being a person who could potentially flee a murder charge. The court cited his recent trip on a private jet as evidence of his access to significant resources, indicating a potential risk of evading justice. Tarek Zahed also known as Hard to Kill, formerly the sergeant-at-arms for the Comanchero Bikey Club, pleaded not guilty to the alleged murder of Yusuf Asum in 2014. After experiencing four unsuccessful attempts at securing bail, Tarek approached his current situation with renewed hope, anticipating a positive outcome this time. However, Justice Richard Button deemed his high-ranking position within the Comancheros as providing him with the means to avoid facing the consequences of his alleged actions. The court was made aware of Zahed's serious health conditions resulting from an assassination attempt he survived in 2022. Despite this, Justice Button found that the medical care available in custody may not match that in the community. The court also revealed that Zahed had utilized a private jet to travel from Sydney to Melbourne while still in a wheelchair, underscoring his access to resources that few in society possess. Zahed's barrister, argued that his past serious offenses were now part of an aged history and highlighted his adherence to bail conditions in a previous matter. However, Justice Button expressed concern over Zahed's criminal record, which included instances of organized violence. Appearing in court via video link from Goulburn Prison, Zahed was seen utterly disappointed. The denial of bail marks another setback for the infamous Balenciaga bikey, further prolonging his time behind bars. Both high-ranking bikies have seen good times together and have frequently captured media attention. The most recent one being August 2022 when Mian organized dinner in honor of his sergeant-at-arms Tarek Zahed. This event marks Zahed's first public appearance since the brutal gangland attack where he suffered 10 gunshot wounds, and lost his brother. At the dinner, they were seen kissing each other and indulging in drinks, raising their glasses and having a great time with other Como members and associates.
Since that eventful night, their fortunes have taken a sharp downturn. Shortly thereafter, Tarek was arrested on murder charges, while Mian was served with serious crime prevention orders. Mian later breached these orders, leading to his subsequent arrest.